Welcome back to Factorio, folks. We need to build some defenses down here. Oh, and yes, we are not joined by STHOG today, unfortunately, but on Saturday we will be. Oh, Sunday, Sunday. On Sunday we will be again. So we'll build some defenses down this way so that, well, basically so these guys don't start attacking us because if we turn pollution on then we're very close to hitting them and we need to be careful about that I don't want to build any more uh, stuff without ST Hedgehog here I think and I think instead of doing this right now instead of the walls we'll build turrets first and then we'll line up the walls with the turrets. So let's get turrets on our hotbar. And have they been updated to look a little bit differently? I think so. So we'll just build right across here. And I don't know if we'll need this many, but better safe than sorry. And I don't know if I have ammo for this many. But we have ammo being made, so should be fine. Okay, let's stick some ammo in. stick in like this until we don't have 200 and then we'll okay and then that all right so then we can grab these and just leave 50 in each all righty so that's ammo down to here, so we're probably going to have to go get some more ammo. But that's okay. Okay, and then we'll grab ammo. You have a hundred, you have a hundred, you have a hundred, you have a hundred. You only have fifty. Okay. So that's ammo just over halfway. Uh, only have 50, you have 100, you have 100, you have 100. There. Nope. Okay. okay, never mind, you only get 25. You're the unfortunate one. Actually, we could just go with 25 in each, couldn't we? Then we'll have enough ammo. Yeah. Let's do that. 25 in each should be enough for a while. I think that's enough. Right? Wrong. Okay, so we'll go to 25 there. And there. Okay, then stick in there. Oops, took all of it. There. Then there's just three to go. Okay. So everything has ammo, then it's walls. Uh, 
And I know that it's probably not the most exciting thing watching me place down these defenses, but it needs to be done. It's part of the game, so... It is what it is. And... We will get it done. So that we are defended up. Just in case the biters decide to be a nuisance, which they probably will. Because it's kind of just in their na nature to do that. Well, we might double wall it, but we'll see. I'm thinking that the plan might be that we go take out those bases down there on on Sunday when we're both here and then all of this will have been for naught but that's just the way it's gonna be all right so we have defenses in place there good now, what I could start doing next without causing pollution is putting in all the train tracks. Which I think is a good idea. Power coal is looking fine. This coal is looking fine. Our... Copper is not looking fine. I don't want to pollute more, but we need more copper. It looks like. Yeah, we kind of need more copper. Kind of need more copper. So I did set up making some miners up here. So let's grab a stack of those, and then let's grab a ton of rail. Let's just grab like that. Okay. We're missing steel as well. And that's because we're missing iron plate. Oh, we're missing everything. Well, hopefully these four copper miners won't cause the pollution to overflow. I really hope not. That one's done. That one is done. That one is done. How's our power consumption? Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, we're getting a bit more copper now. bit more and what we can do is just do that and then that copper will get filtered in as well you don't really want to rebalance it like that but never mind doesn't matter or does it but if we Did this and then this and that and that. So 
suppose that'll work. Get it balanced a bit better. Well, that'll be fine. All right, well, we can stick whatever copper we picked up in here. Stone, we don't have any iron on us. Good. Okay, let's go put down some rails. We have a couple of thousand on us, so why not? Okie dokie. Then we need to come down there. We don't really need to go that much this way, so we'll do this. And get these rails in. Well, we have all that ready. So where are we actually going? We're going We're going to that copper, we're going to that iron. They might start attacking soon. All right, let's just pull this up then. What we could also do is play with making rail stops. And that could be a thing. That could very well be a thing. But I know ST Hedgehog already. trees that need to go. Uh, I know that Astro already made some blueprints for rails. Uh, game blueprints. Yeah. Very nice blueprints. Very, very nice. But no rail stop blueprints, so that is something that we could do. Well, I guess we'll be humane to that tree. So it pains me a little bit to chop it down instead of blow it down. Well, let's get this. Built. I really wish we had power armor so we'd run a bit faster, but it is what it is. And while you can build from the car, I don't think it makes it easier because you just don't go in a straight line and then it gets all crooked and you have to delete it again and go back, do it over. I don't think it's worth it. It isn't too bad, is it? We're almost back down here. There's the... I think we need to go there and then come over this way. Okay. And another thing we could do is play with how our permanent smelting setup should look like. Because that is something that we're going to need to do too.
Alrighty. Well, at least all of this will be done. So, that's something, I guess. Not the signals, but everything else. And I think it looks pretty sweet. Especially the T-junction there that uh, Hedgehog made. I think that looks really cool. Let's get these rails going. Almost there, and then we'll do the line down, and then we'll get the T junction done, and then I think we're probably done for the episode. It should match up pretty well with the timing, I think. Get that in there. Okay. So that they end at the same place for now. Doesn't really matter, but just for peace of mind. My peace of mind. Wow, we've almost... We've spent more than a thousand rails already. More than 1,300 now. I might not even have enough rails on me to finish this up. That would be awkward. I do need to make some signals too though, so... This is not too bad. Uh, before we move down, let's make this cross here, up there. Oh, it was there. There it is. And there it is. There. There. Okay. And then we can continue down. Let's just pull it down a little bit. Down to here. We come down to there as well. And then. that. Make these. Okay. There. And then get this done. Okay, looking good. There. And these crosses. There. Nope, not there. 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 And there. And there. And there. And there. Nice, nice. So we did have enough rails on us. That's good. Uh, 
And there. 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 Almost done. Okie dokie. Now, can we make some signals? Can, but not a lot. Let's go grab some stuff to make some signals. And I guess some cargo wagons as well. Because then we can stick a train down and see the distancing in the signals. Which we kind of need to do. So we can grab this off here. That's enough for some more signals. Okay, so that's 20 of each signal that we have. Ah, 24 of that. That's fine. And then... Some... Cargo wagons, we need a bit of steel plate, I think. We probably need some iron. That's four. That's exactly what we needed. And then we need a locomotive, which we can pick up up here. Let's just grab five. And then we could actually just pull this across. So we did fill in a little bit here. Righty. So... Is this distance actually correct? for the signals? That is a very good question. Um, where'd the signals go? There. So we need one of you there, one of you there. One of you there, one of you there. There and there. And there and there. And then we'll grab these guys, stick in where they they go. Why is there a signal there? I don't think that signal needs to be there, does it? Um, These signals in and down here and up here. These guys right, that's all of that. Then ah, that's why. Okay, so we have signal there and a signal there and a signal there and then we have chain signals there there and there okay that looks good to me Now, let's see if we stick a locomotive down here, right around there, with four cargo wagons on it. That's not too bad spacing at all. We have a little bit of coal on us.
Right, I think we'll leave it here, guys, and come back when we have ST Hedgehog with us on Sunday. We'll record, we're recording Saturday, of course. But then we'll both be there and can decide what to do about the biter threat, threat that we have down here because that is something that we're gonna have to go deal with there's just no two ways about it and I guess this over here as well and this one and actually these out here because The pollution is gonna hit them soon, and we're gonna be mining here, so that will extend the pollution there. We're gonna be mining up here, so that'll extend the pollution there. Uh, we're gonna be getting this crude oil, which will extend the pollution there. So yeah. 64 million iron ore, nice. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll cut it a little bit short here and get back when we have the company of ST Hedgehog. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.